the best, most comprehensive place to look if you're interested in getting scholarship funding in Germany. Hi, we're Ashton and Jonathan, and along with our son Jack, we're a family of American expats living in the Black Forest of Germany. Follow us along on our daily adventures of living, traveling, and raising a family abroad. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you all about scholarship funding in Germany. Whether you're a prospective bachelor's student, master's student, or PhD student, finding a scholarship can be an important piece to your academic journey. I know speaking for myself personally, as a recipient of a DAAD scholarship, getting that research grant was incredibly important to providing for myself and my family as I completed my PhD in Germany. So the organization of today's video is going to follow four main categories. So I'm going to start today's video with just a general overview of understanding funding opportunities in Germany. This is probably going to more specifically talk to PhD students because there's a number of different ways that you can go about funding your PhD project. Next, I'll move on to talking specifically about how you can find scholarship funding in Germany. I'll walk you through all of the major players in the scholarship funding game, where to go to apply, and things you should consider before applying to specific scholarships. Next, I'll walk you through a brief checklist for applying for scholarship funding before ending today's video answering some frequently asked questions. Now, before I jump into today's video, I would like to remind you that with all of our videos, we've written an entire blog post about this specific topic. So if you'd like to learn more about a topic that I speak about or actually find direct links for some of these scholarship funding opportunities, I would encourage you to click the link down below in the description to learn more. Now, I'd like to start by just simply going over an overview of academic funding in Germany. As I mentioned before, there's actually a number of avenues that you can pursue if you're interested in getting a PhD in Germany. One of these is in fact looking for scholarships, but that's not the only way that you can actually be funded during your PhD project. So let's just go over quickly some of those avenues. For starters, simply working for the university can be a great way to have funding during your PhD project. Many students work as research associates or what are termed Wissenschaftliche Mitarbeiters for their respective departments. Now, it's important to mention that these positions are typically part-time and for a fixed term contract with your particular university or non-university affiliated research institute. Now, the next route that's worth mentioning is to actually pursue a PhD through a non-university affiliated research institute. Now, that might sound a little bit weird for American applicants, you mean I can get a PhD without going directly through a university? Well, in some cases, yes. These four research institutions that I'll list up here on the screen, while they don't actually have the right to award doctorates themselves, they do collaborate with the local research universities for this exact purpose. So in this particular scenario, these non-university research institutions will typically offer prospective students either scholarships or fixed term contracts of employment, or a combination of the two. Now, another unique avenue to pursuing a PhD in Germany is actually to do so through industry. These particular PhD programs offer students contracts on fixed term part-time employment basis. However, these are going to be typically tailored to application-oriented, industry-specific research interests that are favorable to potential prospects once they graduate. However, to apply for these specific type of PhD programs, you'll see them listed on a particular company's website as a unique type of employment. You can also typically find these type of PhD opportunities through other portals such as the DAAD, which I'll touch on a little bit later in this video. And last but not least, if none of the prior options sound appealing to you, you may want to consider applying for scholarship funding in Germany. After all, you will need to support yourself during your PhD, master's, or bachelor's study in Germany, whether that ends up being through a scholarship or called a stipendium or through part-time employment. However, one of the things we're gonna talk about today is that finding scholarships in Germany actually can come from a variety of sources. 
These can be through large institutions and organizations such as the DAAD or through political parties, religious institutions, or private companies. And each of these organizations will have their own individual funding criteria, deadlines for applications, and specific criteria that they look for in potential awardees. Now, I found that while applying for PhD scholarships, that the majority of those out there were typically between 1,000 and 1,500 euros per month. However, many of these organizations also offered additional funding to help support your spouse, children, or other travel-related expenses. So where should you go to look for these particular types of funding opportunities? Let's dive into that next. All right, so as I just mentioned, there are numerous ways that you can search for scholarship funding opportunities in Germany. Thankfully, there's a large pool of funding opportunities available to both local and international students alike. So let's get started talking about the best, most comprehensive place to look if you're interested in getting scholarship funding in Germany. So in my experience, the best database out there to look for scholarship funding in Germany, whether you're a bachelor's, master's, or PhD student, is through the DAAD. That abbreviation stands in English for the German Academic Exchange Service. And their comprehensive database includes all kinds of information on local, international, and regional scholarships that you can tailor based off of your own nationality, the particular region that you're going to be studying in, and topic-specific research projects. And in addition to these local and international funding opportunities, the DAAD also offers their own scholarships as well, funding approximately 5,000 students a year. Again, I was honored to be the recipient of a one-year research grant through the DAAD. In fact, I'll be following up this video with another video talking specifically about how I applied for a DAAD scholarship and some tips that I would give prospective applicants along the way. So if you're interested in applying for one of these scholarships, make sure to stay tuned and check that out. Now, the next place to go looking for a scholarship in Germany is to look through political party-related foundations in the Bundestag. These political parties typically support highly motivated, socially committed, and high academic achieving students. Now, while receiving money from a political party may sound counterintuitive for a lot of international applicants, in Germany, you're not expected to fulfill partisan-related research interests by accepting money from one of these institutions. However, you should know that if you do accept funding from a political party, you should generally support their mission and goals as a political party. Now, the next type of scholarships in Germany can be found through religious or denominational organizations. Now, unlike the previous section, you typically will be required to be a member of a particular religious organization to apply for their scholarships. Now, these religious organizations that I have up on the screen are going to specifically look for students who are both technically gifted, socially committed, and outspoken about their faith. Okay, the next great place to look is to actually look through business foundations to get scholarship funding in Germany. Now, the two organizations that I have up here on the screen are by no means a comprehensive overview, but it does go to show that private organizations and industry entities do have a vested interest in supporting research projects in Germany. Naturally, these type of scholarships typically go to students and researchers whose academic focus is of particular interest to the company. Another highly popular way to study in Germany is to do so through an exchange program. One of the best well-known is the Erasmus program through the European Union. Now, the Erasmus program is going to be interested in funding students from the EU, Iceland, Liechtenstein, Norway, Turkey, or North Macedonia. Typically, academic stays from three to 12 months are generally supported through a bilateral agreement from a German university and your home university. Now, the best way to get more information about this type of academic exchange and scholarship program is going to be through your home university. Next, another great place to look for scholarship funding in Germany is through the individual federal states. Individual federal states of Germany often offer funding opportunities through grants and scholarships, primarily from an economic point of view. Now, funding opportunities vary greatly between the individual federal states 
although generally you're going to have to show very high academic standing in order to apply for them. Now, because these types of funding opportunities are considered local, individual universities are awarded a certain pot of money that they can distribute each year and will have small committees at each individual university to decide on who is going to be awarded this type of scholarship funding. So naturally, the best place to look if you're interested in applying for funding through the federal state is actually going to be through your university in Germany specifically. I would recommend getting in touch with the research services department and ask about funding opportunities and scholarship application materials. Now, the next opportunity for scholarship funding in Germany is going to be through socially oriented organizations. You may be surprised to learn that there are actually a number of scholarships out there to meet the needs based off of social, personal, or family circumstances. I have a couple of these opportunities up on the screen, but again, this is by no means an exhaustive list. So if you have specific circumstances that align with one of these organizations, they can be a wonderful opportunity to look for additional funding in Germany for your bachelor's, master's, or PhD project. As I mentioned earlier in this video, research institutions can also be a great place to look for scholarship programs, projects, or scholarship funding in general. Now, for these type of funding opportunities, they're going to fund projects for young scientists based on specific scientific careers. Okay, so now that we've covered all of the major opportunities for scholarship funding in Germany, I think it's good that we next talk about some things to consider when actually applying for scholarship funding in Germany. So the first step in our German scholarship application checklist is to make sure that the German scholarship provider and offer meets both your personal and professional goals and needs. Now, scholarship funding in Germany is reciprocal. They not only want to make sure that you align with their general research interests, but you also want to make sure that what they do and represent also aligns with your personal and professional goals. As you can imagine, with all of the different scholarship funding opportunities that we just covered, many of them have professional, political, or social stances that you'll wanna make sure that you also align with before accepting funding. In addition, many of these scholarships may also have some restrictions that you'll wanna strongly consider before accepting the money. For example, if you accept a scholarship for a thousand euros a month, but it restricts you from taking up anything more than a mini job or 450 euros for additional employment, and you have multiple kids to provide for, this may not be the best opportunity for you for scholarship funding. Now, the second step is that you're going to want to make sure that you also meet all of the formal requirements before applying for a scholarship in Germany. Now, I get it. On the surface of all of it, it seems kind of like a, duh, obviously, you need to be able to meet the basic requirements. But many of you might be surprised to learn just the exhaustive list of requirements that you need to be able to meet in order to basically apply for some of these scholarships. Now, commonly it's going to be asked that you bring along a CV or resume with your up-to-date information on your academic achievements, employment history, subject of research, age, yes, really, how old are you, and your academic and social achievements. In addition, Many scholarships will also have time restrictions on when you can actually apply for their scholarships. For example, the DAAD scholarship that I actually applied for had the restriction that I could not have resided in Germany for more than one year before applying. And other scholarships that I also stumbled upon during the application process had restrictions that said that no more than four years could have passed before my last academic degree. So this can actually be quite counterintuitive if you are an older applicant or somebody who's thinking about going back to get a PhD after working in industry for some time. So make sure to read through the requirements carefully before applying for a scholarship in Germany. Now, step three in the German scholarship application checklist is to make sure that you've submitted all of the appropriate documents and application materials by the specific deadline. Frustratingly, there is no common submission deadline amongst the various scholarship opportunities in Germany. 
Some are due in the fall, some are due in the winter, and some are due in the spring. So you're going to want to make sure to check up on them regularly to see if they update their application requirements, and you'll want to make sure to keep your CV and application documents up to date. I highly recommend keeping a calendar or a planner in order to organize all the various deadlines for the different scholarship opportunities. However, keep in mind that the vast majority of scholarships typically have a start date of October 1st to coincide with the beginning of the winter semester in Germany. Now, last but not least, be prepared for an interview. Many scholarship committees will narrow down their list of applications to a list of finalists that they will invite in for an in-person interview, most likely to be held in German. Now, this is important because you will need to make your calendar clear and make yourself available should you be called in for an in-person interview. So, what kind of questions are they going to ask you during this interview? One of the most common questions is, do you know what you want to achieve with the scholarship? Now, your answer should go beyond the practical, I need this money to survive, but actually link their organization's mission statement with your larger personal and professional goals and motivations. Again, many of these scholarships offer so much more than funding, whether it's professional networking or simply being able to answer the call to a community need whose impact is greater than yourself. You should consider these scholarship opportunities not solely as a source of funding, but also an opportunity to improve yourself and your community for the better. All right, we're here at the last section of today's video. I wanted to wrap up by answering some frequently asked questions about scholarship funding in Germany. So first things first, what can I use German scholarship money for? Now, generally speaking, just about anything, which is one of the things that I think separates it from the type of scholarship funding that I received during my studies in the United States. In the US, you're typically restricted to only use your scholarship funding for tuition and books. However, as many of you are probably aware, there really isn't that much tuition to offset. So it's generally understood that you can use scholarship money to cover things like living expenses, food, rent, utilities, and the like. The next question is, will I be taxed on my German scholarship funds? And again, generally the answer here is no your scholarship funding will not be taxed in Germany. However, every scholarship is different and individual, so you're going to want to make sure to read the fine print before accepting any money in Germany. In addition, if you're an international student, you will also want to make sure to check with your home country to see if you could potentially be taxed on that income back home. Last but not least, the common question that I get asked is, can I work while being funded with a German scholarship? And the answer here is, it depends. Some scholarships have work restrictions, some do not. Again, keep in mind that the rationalization here is that they're giving you this scholarship money so that you can focus on your coursework. So you may not want to jeopardize that by splitting your time between your research and full-time employment. In addition, many scholarships, including the one that I accepted by the DAAD, restricted me to only working a mini job or less. And if you haven't checked out our video on mini jobs, essentially this restricts you to earning 450 euros or less. Now, keep in mind, even if there are no restrictions for employment for your scholarship specifically, you may have additional restrictions based off of your student visa. So make sure to check that out as well before starting any employment in Germany. Okay, so that pretty much sums up today's video. Again, if you have any questions about the content of this video, we highly suggest that you check out the blog post we've written on this specific topic. I go into much more detail than what I could have explained during this YouTube video, and I've also included links to all the scholarship funding opportunities that I presented in today's content. In addition, if you have personal experience about finding scholarship funding in Germany, We'd love to hear from you. Leave that down below in the comment section and share with others about your personal experience. And as always, if you enjoyed today's video, we would love it if you hit that thumbs up button. And for more content from the Black Forest family, 
hit that subscribe button. So until next time, cheers.